Hey everyone, so I went ahead and did this highly requested look for you guys, which was the smoky look that I had on in my Velvada mascara review. So, it kind of looks like this. Very simple because I did not apply any liner at the top. I just tight lined and applied liner in my waterline and did it soft with the cheeks and the lips. So, main focus is with the eyes today. And I used my, um, MAC Palace Pedigreed Quad from the Fabulous Feelings Collection. So if you guys do want to know how I did this look, then keep watching. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Just a paint pot. And I don't have anything on my face except for moisturizer. So, I'm going to be taking my 252 brush by MAC. Okay, I'll always use this one. And I'm going to be using Naked Pigment. And this is just pressed with a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol. Okay, and I'm just going to apply this under my brow. Don't mind the music, my iPod's on shuffle, and it's on shuffle with um, Glee music, which I love. And I can't wait for the new season! Ah! Okay, the next thing that I'm going to be taking is the Palace Pedigreed Quad, which came out with the Fabulous Felines collection from MAC. We're going to be using Palace Pedigreed, which is this really nice satin purple and also Russian Blue, which is a matte. And then we're going to be using Courtly Eyeshadow, which is right here. These are all limited edition colors, by the way, so if you don't have this quad, I suggest you grab it. This was my favorite out of the entire uh, collection. So this is how it's going to work. I'm going to be taking, and this is really simple too, because no eyeliner is involved on the top, just more so tight lining and applying uh, eyeliner under waterline and then smoking it underneath. So really, really simple. Okay, I'm going to be taking my blendy brush in, this is the 224 by MAC, and I'm really going to coat this brush with Palace Pedigreed, which is that really nice purple. And again, if you don't have this quad, you can still definitely do this look. So, kind of compromise with the colors that I do show you. So, this one can go for Fig One by MAC. Or even a sketch. Okay. So, I'm going to be... Let me zoom in for you guys just a little bit. I'm going to be taking this... To the crease now usually usually I do brown or soft brown but this is an intense smoky eye that you guys wanted me to do for you guys so this is what I did I just apply this on my crease and just rock it back and forth and you want to focus more on the outer crease Okay, so something like that. And you want to apply this right on the corner, the outer corner of your lid. Just a little bit. Because we're going to fill the entire lid with that really nice smoky gray color. Okay, so something like that. Really intense, huh? We kind of need to go back, so don't worry about it. Just as long as you have that guideline. It's perfect. Okay? Now, I'm going to be taking my 217 blending brush by MAC and applying Russian Blue, which is this really nice smoky gray right over here. Kind of coating the brush. And then, patting this on the lid. And basically fill in wherever you did it and fill in with the purple. This is going to go on your entire lid. 
And the reason why I like to use a fluffy brush to apply my lid color is it makes it easier to blend the two colors when they meet. Okay, so you should have something like that. Then we're going to go back with a 224 blending brush and apply more of that purple color. You just want to blend this upwards to kind of get that fade. And then now we're going to take Courtly eyeshadow, which is this color right here. It's kind of like a baby pink almost. A uh, rosy pink. Carnation pink. And I'm going to take um, another clean 224 brush and apply this color on my tear duct and kind of bring it upwards to blend everything together. It's not a harsh line. Right, the last thing is that I'm gonna go and grab the purple with the 239 brush and apply this on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take that gray color and just apply this on the outer portion of the eye. to kind of make it smoky. All right, so now I'm just gonna tight line my eyes and apply mascara. I'm gonna be using my Hot and Naughty Lash by MAC, which I love. And I'm gonna be tight lining using my Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel Liner in Blackest Black. And then I'll be right back to show you what I put on my face, cheeks, and lips. Alright, now that I have my eyes all done, I'm going to be taking my Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium Dark. And I'm going to apply this again with my Essence of Beauty brush. And since I already have that Studio Moisture Tint, it kind of gave me that extra coverage. I'm going to be taking Sweet as Cocoa. That. And I'm going to be applying this with my skunk brush. And we're going to apply my e.l.f. golden bronzer. Just like this. And apply this with my 188 brush. It looks like that. Hit the four quadrants and then just apply this under the eye and then towards the hairline. Alright, for lips, I'm going to be taking Flesh Pot lipstick. This was from the Heatherette collection from MAC a long time ago. It's just this pretty nude color. And I'm just going to apply this on my lips. I'm just going to take my clean ring finger, since I don't want too much color, and put this all over my lips. My Schemer Lip Gloss, which the color looks like this. Here's the name. And it's just this really pretty gold. So this is a finished look. I do hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, it is really super smoky for some of you guys, but since this was highly requested, so any questions, feel free to comment below. And I hope you guys have a great day. I will talk to all of you guys soon. Bye.